Next is we have this table, nice little table. Let's add some validation. It says date here, but you can actually put A and you're done. It's okay here, right? So let's add some validation. So we want to select all these cells, go to data validation, and you want to do date. It needs to be between, I mean, uh, because it's a timesheet, let's assume that it's 2017. And so I want to say 1, 1, 2017 to 12-31-2017. So if there's any date that user put inputs outside this, it will fail. Let's do OK. Now, that's a problem. I would just want to show you that because this is a timesheet what you did in terms of validation is okay because you know let's say you put one it'll error and if you put anything beyond 2017 meaning if you do one 18 it'll throw an error but if you're submitting a timesheet for a week ideally your this thing should be somewhere between this so instead of adding whole year this should validate based on this cell whatever dates are here so let's go back to data validation what we'll do is start is equal to this and the end date is equal to this so now it makes more sense oh I think it's incorrect let's do equal to let's call it HY done now this makes a lot more sense because you're saying your start date is this and end date is a 20 and if you try to do it will throw an error which makes it right that makes more sense so you know what we did before is also okay but this is a lot more user friendly now when it comes to project id under sample data we have this one so let's go ahead and create a list here and name the reference we'll say project ID and come back here for this we'll do a list and we'll say equal to project ID hit enter to get all the projects here the client name right now I don't have any sample data but that's okay you can you know, we'll leave it blank then we have client location I believe I have okay I have some list here well let's create a name the reference here hit enter copy the name go here name reference with the client name we'll use that go to data validation list equal to client location now we have the list here next manager name I have a list here managers so let's create a named reference managers hit enter and then go here and do data validation select the list equal to managers okay now you have the list so manager contact number you know I'm going to leave it blank. I don't have any sample data here to put it. That's fine. Now we have rating for that. Um, for whatever reason, this timesheet has rating. Let's assume that and it says rating 1 through 10. So let's put some data validation. So user don't put something less than 1 and greater than 10. Uh, data validation. Whole number between 1 and 10. And you can also give some tip to the user like a tool tip now here work hours start and end so this needs to be let's say so the start and the end what we can do is since the the company has a restriction about when they can start and when they can possibly end that means they cannot report time beyond 9 p.m and they cannot say that they started before 7 a.m so what we will do is we'll say that start time we'll use the date validation sorry the time validation we'll say time 
then do between and say start time as this and end time as this. Now what this means is the start time here I can I cannot input something before 7 a.m. I can always do 7 or 1 a.m. that'll work right now for the end we need to do the same so I can copy this whole cell set there just copy the whole thing there that means all it did is it when I copied the whole data validation which is part of the cell also goes along with it that means here if you try to put 6 a.m. Well, it took 6 a.m. Let's see what happened. Let me try to put um, 8 p.m. here. Well, it took 8 p.m. Let's see what's happening. Let me try to put 8 p.m. here. Well, it worked. Oh, it's 9, so that's okay. Let's put 10 p.m. Well, it worked. Let's see what's happening. Uh, data validation e5 and e6 okay i think this let, we need to fix this now let's see let me go back to your e78 you guys i guess a uh, little you know real time hands-on now okay as you can see here right, if i do at 10 a.m oh it's working there as well let's see what's happening 10 a.m. Oh, 10 a.m. is fine because it's after 7 a.m. Let me say 10 p.m. is errors. Um, but if I do a 10, oh, it was 10 p.m. It took 11 p.m. It took. Let's see what's happening. I believe you must have already caught what the error might be. So here, if I do data validation, I can see E4 and e5 so this cell is e4 as you can see and then this is e5 so but when i go to the cell below what we see is e5 and e6 and if you go here probably i'll see somewhere here e17 and e18 so definitely when we you know copy or pull down the validation or apply it, it it didn't take it right so let's fix it so let's um go to the very first one and let's do data validation these values are fixed so we can put uh, a dollar sign in front of uh, the row number and the column name you can do that do okay and now if you drag this down and you can delete all this now let's see so 11 a.m. sorry 10 a.m. is okay 10 p.m. error 10 p.m. error there you go and leave 10 p.m. error so what I did here is that when I did the apply the data validation instead of using uh, you know just the field or the cell name and now I have an absolute reference here meaning you know irrespective of where you take there or copy that the validation is always or the cell that e4 is always referenced so let's see what happened when we copied these cells here because these cells were referencing something in column e so when you copy this to this most likely the validation now you should be seeing somewhere in f so let's see let's select that go to data validation now you see f4 and f5 and there are no values there so what you can do now you know now if you copy you know it will pretty much take those validations with it and it will reference the you know e4 and e5 data validation e4 and e5 go to this cell data validation e4 and e5 so that's one way to handle it there's another way to do it uh, meaning you know, what you could do is you could say this is um, let's say start time hit enter and for this you could tell end time and hit enter so now we have two 
um, named reference that we can apply. So for all these, what you can do is let's go to this, select this whole, maybe this whole thing, and do data validation. So instead of this, we call to start time because it kind of helps if you use the name reference. We'll say end time. Hit enter. Now, whether you you know you drag it, it's going to still stay the same. Start time and end time. There's nothing to increment because it's a named reference. You know, just a little tip there. So we're good there. Next is hours, and it's blank. When you know hours, we want what we want to do is equal to this minus this. It's time, so Excel will calculate automatically. So I guess pretty much we applied uh, data validation to most of this spreadsheet. Um, I guess you know to start with it should be fine. So let's try to enter something. So it used to be somewhere between, but I'll enter something like this. Definitely I'll get an error. So I'll start with 8, 14. Uh, project ID, I'll pick something, client name, ABC, client location, California, manager name, so Eric Smith, contact number, 123, 123, 124, rating, 5, start time, 4 a.m., of course it'll not work, we'll say 7, 30, AM. There's a mess here, that's fine. We'll do uh, 8 PM. So 7 to 8 PM hours, it kind of messed up. Okay, let's see what happened. Um, so the difference, the formula was N minus N. Let's see, let's go, go to cell formats. Let me change the time, put this and do OK. That gives me 12 hours and 30 minutes. Let's format this as well. Time this. Okay. 